Greetings, great warriors. The summer solstice is upon us, and it is time for the grand tournament to test your skills and become the grand champion of the Dragoness. Reign of Dragoness is played over five rounds, or tournaments, where players will attempt to be the first to play all 13 cards in their hand. Each player must match the pattern set by the starting player and raise the value of the cards until all but one player drops out of the challenge. Players will be playing a variety of sets and runs with the cards in their hands to stay in the game. The winner of each challenge then sets the new pattern. This continues until one player empties their hand and points are rewarded. After five tournaments, players add up their scores and whoever has the most points wins and is crowned Grand Champion of the Dragoness. Before we set up the game, let's get acquainted with the different fearsome dragon clans. There are eight dragon clans that make up the suits of the game. Each clan has 12 cards numbered 1 through 12. However, not every dragon shares the same strength. Each clan's strength is indicated by the jewels on the side of the card. For example, the Locken Clan has only one jewel, making it the weakest of the clans, whereas the Gildan Clan has eight jewels, making it the strongest. Players will use these clans to play different sets, runs, and for their own numbers and individual strength. Players will also come across special cards that may lend a hand in their victory. The Dragoness is the most powerful dragon in all the realm and reigns supreme. She can be played either as a 13 in a run or be played as the highest single card. She also cannot be reset by the revive card, but must be played according to the pattern that has been set. There's only one of her in the entire deck of cards, so play her wisely. Long live the Dragoness! Every grand ruler needs their own champion. And the Dragonite is here to serve the Dragoness. He is used as a wild card to help fulfill any sets and runs. And when played alone, he is always a 12. As the strongest of all knights, he beats all other cards of the same number, even the Gildan Clan. Nothing like a knight in shining armor. The Page and the Squire are also wild cards, which can stand in for a number in the range of numbers listed on the card to complete a desired set. Their allegiance lies with the Locken Clan as they are the lowliest of all knights. They are counted as lower than all cards with the same number. However, you may find good use for them in your various sets and runs. When played alone, the Page is always an 8 and the Squire is always a 9. Lots of strength in such little packages. Finally, we have a lone dragon egg. Oh, it's the revive card. If you're ever in a tough situation during a tournament, these can come in handy. If you cannot beat the current pattern, play the revive card to set the pile down to any lower number. When playing the revive, you must immediately play again, continuing the pattern set by the first player of the challenge. But you may play cards lower in strength and in number than the previous cards played. You just have to match the previous pattern when playing the base game. A revive may not be played on top of the Dragoness, a 12, or the Dragonite being played as a 12. Thanks for the help, little one. To set up the game, players will choose one player to be the dealer. The dealer will consult the table here to determine how many clans and special cards will be used in the game. Feel free to pause this video to have a longer look at the table. Start with five suits for three to five players. Playing with two players is possible, but not optimal. After the deck is ready, the dealer will shuffle the cards and deal 13 cards to each player. Now, it's time for the games to begin. The least powerful card is the number one card with one jewel. If this card has been dealt, the player holding it plays first. If it has not been dealt, the next lowest card leads out. The starting player will then set the pattern for the round by either playing a single card, a set, or a run. The next player will then follow the pattern playing cards from their hand that matches what was previously played. A pair for a pair, a run for a run. However, 
The highest card you played must beat the previous player's highest card by either having a higher numbered card or play an equal numbered card with more jewels. Once a player passes, they are out of the tournament unless a revive card is played. In that case, players who have passed are able to play again on the next turn if desired. Who knew such a tiny egg would be so valuable? Play continues until all players have passed, and then a new match begins. The player to last play sets the new pattern and the tournament continues on. Once a player completely empties their hand, the tournament is over and they earn three points. The player with the fewest cards left then earns two points. And the player with the next fewest cards will earn one point. If two or more players tie for second place, each player earns two points and no third place score is awarded. A tie for third place earns a score of one point each. After five tournaments, the player with the most points wins and is crowned the Grand Champion of the Dragoness. Reign of Dragoness, a new family card game available from Grand Pop X Games. Available now.